Hi, I'm Ryan Stewart, a developer evangelist for Adobe. And I want to talk to you about media queries and how an upcoming feature of Dreamweaver will make it much easier to create customized looking application across multiple devices. Now, media queries were introduced in CSS2 as a way to provide a unique CSS style sheet for different kinds of media, whether it was going to be something in print, whether it was going to be put on a projector, whether it was going to be looked at on a screen like normal applications or normal websites. But CSS3 saw the proliferation of devices and screen sizes and screen resolutions, and they included some features in media queries in CS3, CSS3 to provide a, that unique look and feel in those different CSS style sheets, depending on the resolution, depending on the screen size, so that as you accessed your content or website with a different device, you would get a different screen size. So I'm going to show you how an upcoming feature of Dreamweaver will make that much easier. The example I'm going to use is from Mike Chambers. And he had an example that he uses Canvas to kind of draw sort of an artsy picture using EaselJS and using a default photo. So I click on that. You can see I've got the photo up here. And as I start drawing, it'll use that photo to get color information. And I can start to create this kind of nice artsy little snake line. As we move, it'll follow our mouse. And we could use multi-touch here if we had multi-touch support as well. But you can see, if we refresh this, this example, this would look a little bit odd on a smaller screen like an iPhone. So luckily, we can use media queries to solve that problem. Here I am in Dreamweaver, and I have the, the, the Mike's application or site loaded up here in Dreamweaver. And there's a new feature in Dreamweaver called the multi-screen view, which allows us to see how the application will look across a number of different device dimensions. So I load this up, and you can see I've got my tablet, 768. My desktop has a width of 1, 1126. And then the phone width here has 320. And you can see right away how the phone width will completely break the application. I've got a lot of scrolling in order to get over here to the right side. Things are not really aligned all that well. So it's kind of very clear here looking at these three different versions that I've got to create a smaller version for phones. And I can change here in my multi-screen preview, I can change the viewport sizes to tweak what I want the phone width to be or the phone height or the tablet or the desktop. So we can tweak those variables. But the most important thing here is the media queries button. So if I click that, we can start to build media queries based on these screen sizes. So I can say, first of all, I want these to be applied to this document specifically. And then I can use this menu down here to start building those media queries. So I'm going to create a new one. And we'll call it small screen. And this example, the media queries box, lets us set either a minimum width or a maximum width. The minimum width will say, use this CSS file anytime the screen size is bigger than x number. The max width, which is what we want, will say, use this style sheet anytime that the max width is less than this number. So in this case, I want to set a max width of, let's say, a one less than my tablet. So we'll do 760, well, 765 pixels. And I've already got a CSS style sheet called small.css. So I can use an existing file, or here in Dreamweaver, I can create a new file. But I'll just select my small file here, small CSS. And as soon as we write that, we're going to change my index.html file to make sure that when we're accessing it with a specific screen size that's smaller than 765, it will use the new CSS template. And you can see that right here automatically in the multi-screen preview. So our tablet dimensions and our desktop dimensions stay the same. But here in the phone window, I now have an optimized phone experience, which is much more tailored to that smaller width. And what's kind of cool here is that this isn't just a picture. This is actually a live WebKit preview of all these things. So I can test this content out, and I can compare it live here in the view. So as I click Pictures here, I can go through and use the Canvas API to test this on the smaller screen, see how it looks on the tablet. So I can use the multi-screen preview live with an instant WebKit instance to make sure that my content is actually behaving and looking exactly the way I want it to on multiple screens. Hopefully, it gives you a taste of how you can use some of the upcoming features of Dreamweaver to really enhance your multi-screen workflow, whether it's viewing content and seeing how it behaves or changing that content based on media queries. For more information, you can go to the uh, Adobe Dreamweaver Developer Center or the new HTML5 Developer Center and see a whole lot of articles and tutorials about ways to take advantage of the latest and greatest in both Dreamweaver and HTML5, JavaScript, CSS3.